Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coombe Casas for IFL TV. We're in Abu Dhabi ahead of the Rising Star show this weekend, Saturday, um, live on The Zone. I'm joined by Mr. Faison Anwar. Hey, man. All right, mate? All good, how are you? you good? All good, all good. Um, how have you found this week? Obviously, uh, fight night is approaching very quickly. Yeah, nothing just normal. We, like this week only, it's a fight week. So just like light training, making weights, nothing much, nothing stressful. Yeah. What can you tell us about your opponent that you'll be in the ring with on Saturday night? I mean, well, he's good. Uh, he, he was a French champion. He was a national team. But, and he's a, he's a boxer. But I know what I'm capable of. All I can say is going to be a very good fight. You know, like class fight. A boxer is fighting with a boxer, you know. Mm. Like a, a technique fighter fighting with a technique. So you will see more like a chess game in the, in the fight night. Yeah. This will be your 18th fight coming up? Yeah, coming up 18th fight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's mad to think you've had 18 fights now. So yeah. It's, uh, I remember those <laughs> number of fights when you wasn't into double figures and now you're closing in on 18 fights. So yeah. you're definitely getting the rounds and the experience. Yeah, so this is my thing. This is my third 10 round. So now a couple of more 10 rounds, then we'll go for 12 rounds. This is what our, our plan. That's the plan for the rest of the year? Yeah, yeah, like two more, two more 10 rounds, then by the end of the year, one 12 round, and then pick up from there, like gradually. And you want to be fighting for a title soon as well? Yeah, very soon. Last time I was, I, I, I was asking you about Florian Marco. Yeah. But you said like, no, he's, he's a, I, I told you that he is an average fighter, but you said, no, he's not an average fighter, and see what happened. Chris, what is his name? I forgot. Congo. Congo, yeah. Congo. He schooled him, to be honest. And before that, he fought with an Irish guy. I mean, that Irish man, like, I don't blame him. He's a good fighter, but not the level of, same level of Florian, Florian Marco. But it is what it is. Now he lost his, I know. So you'll be chasing someone else now? It's not about someone, like, chasing someone else. Like, even if I get opportunity to find again, find with Florian Marco, or even with the Chris Congo, I don't mind. Like, you know, like I can do with it. And then there is one more from your, from, from UK, it's called some Gravy, something like that. I think he's his Commonwealth champion, same belt of it. What's his name, who? Something called Gravy, Gary Gravy. His Commonwealth champion. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so I don't mind fighting with him as well. Yeah. Anyone can get it. Anyone can get it, yeah, because at this point of, at this, at this point of my career, like, I don't, I don't care about anything, you know, like, because I want to I wanna reach on that level, you know, like top 10, top 15. So I don't, I don't care. Like I just, I just want to fight with everyone. But you're making all the right steps at the moment. So yeah, yeah, you can only yeah. do what you have to do in the ring. And yeah, so like it's a, you know, like you cannot do all everything alone. So it's a big part, it's a big part of my team behind me. Like they're managing me like very nice and very like good in a good way to step to step for in, in my career to stepping up yeah well listen only two days out so uh it's show time again for you like mm -hmm. i said in your 18th fight um did you were you keeping up to date with what was going on in saudi arabia last last week yeah i was i was i was awake till till fury fight i mean it was crazy like after 25 years, first of all, after 25 years, undisputed for heavyweight championship, you know, and the way, like, I was, I was still music, I was like 70, 30, because I know Fury can do magical things, because everyone saw what he did with Wilder, you know, he woke up like an undertaker and started <laughs> winning again, so, on that, I was 30% with Fury, but, uh, but Usyk, he's a very great fighter, you know, like, he know how to box, he's very smart enough, and this what happened, you know. Like at one point on round seven, round eight, I thought Fury is going down, but round nine that was round round nine, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought it was going down, but it was good show, very good show. Yeah, how yeah. Fury managed to keep himself up, obviously. Yeah, um, in that round nine is uh, was yeah quite incredible, and you know, there's obviously the, the questions when it should have been stopped or not, but um, as people have pointed out, it's for an undisputed fight and. Yeah. The referee had to kind of give it every every chance, which he did. Yeah, yeah, but I'm upset about Joe Cordonia. Yeah, like I don't know him. Like I've like I have seen him one or two times. I just like just hi and hello like that. 
and like he's like kind of my like I, I just I just, like he's like kind of my fan like I find I fans him you know as a how he box yeah. how he thinks you know like how he his boxing style I just a bit upset on that but it was a very good fight I think on that round three the way he got his punch that one like when Lefrit says stop and he got punch mm. I think that changed the whole scenario of the game but I'm a bit upset about Kodeo. Kod- it was certainly a, a dramatic night in, uh, in yeah, Riyadh. We've yeah, got another exactly. one coming up next weekend as well for the, the 5v5, so yeah, um, should be interesting. Um, yeah, but you've got a job to do on Saturday. Have you got anything else yeah. you'd like to add, uh, Fozan? No, no, all good for now. Yeah, but you're going to be the 25th, right? On the 25th? On the 25th. Oh, hopefully, yes. Hopefully. hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. We can definitely catch up afterwards. 100%. Right. Faison and well, thank you very much for to IFL TV. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.